In this short Excel video, I'm going to show you how to set or change your advanced file properties in your Excel workbooks. Let's get started. Now, when I say advanced file properties, what I'm talking about is the metadata and other data associated with a particular file, in this case, an Excel workbook. Many people don't even know that this is a possibility or how or where to access these advanced file properties. What you can do is once you've opened up a workbook or you've created it, you can go to the File tab and click, and then go here to the Info button. Once you've clicked that, look over here, and you'll find a Properties dropdown. And you can see here are some properties listed here. Well, if you click on this Properties dropdown, you can change it to Advanced Properties, and that brings up a dialog box that you can use to add some advanced properties for your Excel workbook file. So even though I've already named the file in another way earlier, I'm going to title this file the same way there. In the subject line, I'll call it Nutrition. The author, if I want to, I can put in a manager, a company, category, some keywords, and some comments. You can also put in a hyperlink base, and I'll just tell you at this point, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that refers to. I can also go here to general, and it's got some basic information about the properties of this file, the file type, its location, its size, etc. There doesn't seem to be anything to change here. So I'm going to move away from that and move to statistics. Again, these statistics aren't really changeable, but it does say when it was created, when it was modified, accessed, etc. What about contents? When you click on the contents tab, it outlines the file for you. So I can see that my document consists of a workbook, a series of worksheets, and really it's just one sheet. If I had a second sheet, it would show up here as well. Next we have custom, and this is customizable, and it's fairly powerful. I could put in who this file was checked by, and the value would be, let's say, Brooke, and then I click add, and now that attribute will be added to my properties for this document. I'm going to browse down, let's go to editor, and I'll type in a value there, let's say Alyssa, and then I could click add to add in the editor information. When I'm done looking at these advanced properties and adding to them or changing them, all I need to do is click OK, those advanced properties are now associated with this Excel file. So you can see here, there's the title, tags, health, category. If I browse down, it shows the author, and I can click to show all properties. Now it shows the manager and other information. So especially with your most important Excel files, it may make sense to go in to the advanced properties and fill it out more fully before you share or send a file to someone else, especially outside your company, but also within. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell, and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the Thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account, or you could buy channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. I really appreciate you. 